So when I saw this reading this morning, I was attracted by that line, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. That is the response to the psalm that we say when we're having Bethesda service. When we are before we go for auricular confession, there is so much you can learn from this text. I believe too that we will come to a better comprehension or understanding of this text in these are times, the COVID-19 times. Because it would make a lot of sense to us now when we're talking about someone being isolated. Because all these years, we may have been hearing about people being isolated. But we really may have not seen or come close to persons that have been isolated or quarantined. Now that we know certain persons in our community, certain persons in our midst who have been quarantined, it will become clearer to us what it means to be isolated. Lepers those days were isolated. There were persons who were not allowed in the community. That social distancing was there with lepers. So this kind of leper now saw Jesus from that distance move to him. We took that risk, broke the barrier, he didn't wait. And of course, you know who Jesus is. Jesus, no social distance with Jesus. He says to us, come to me, all you who labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Everyone, including lepers, all of us. And the leper came to him and said, shout out, said, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. Jesus said to him, yes, I will. Be clean. Jesus touched him. Can you imagine? If you don't have time, you know, we'll run away. I would even we'll run. <laughs> Many of us religious leaders wouldn't want to dare touch persons with COVID 19. Someone with coronavirus would not dare touch them because I told you, touch them, you can get it. But Jesus went to a leper, touched him. And said that he be clean. And we are told immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And he said to him, Say nothing to anyone. He said, Look, be quiet, go to the priest, and do what you are supposed to do before you go to join your community as a proof to the people. You know what I see in this? I also saw in this all oh, sinners. When we sin, we are like lepers. We are contaminated. We become outcasts. You cannot come to the table of the Lord to join the reception of the Eucharist because we have sinned. But you know what Jesus says? Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. So if you feel you have committed sin, you are separated from God, or spiritually distanced from God, you need to approach Jesus like the leper today. And that's why I'm not surprised we use, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. Before we go to confession, you can see that with Jesus. That's what we use in the Catholic Church. And then you come to Jesus, he's ready. And then, of course, he will cleanse you. But there's a very special point in the text. After Jesus cured him, Jesus said to him, say not to no one, but go show yourself first to the priest. Now, for some of us who think that the priest is not important, in our purification, spiritual purification, through the sacrament of confession, oh, there's no need, I can just confess to myself, go God myself. Jesus is God. Jesus already made this man clean. He's the son of God. By touching this man, this man was made clean. Yet he says to him, go to the priest. Go to the priest. That seal is needed. That confirmation is needed. Before you can join the community. So you still don't see the importance of a priest. When you have committed a sin, you need to go to confession. To be, yes, you can talk to God. God, I've, 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 I've sinned. Forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. You have to do that before you are forgiven. You don't just go to the priest without having that remorse for your sin. If you have the sin in you, you have not asked God for forgiveness, you go to a priest, you are not forgiven. But that is the truth of the matter because you see how much in your heart. 
By the time you say, okay, God, I'm sorry, you truly are sorry. You have made up your mind. Now I want to go to God and say, okay, I'm sorry. Before you get that cleansing, the seal from the priest. So, look, Jesus recognized that. Never mind those days, you know, if I, if I sin, I just go to my room, I need to pray, I can talk to God by myself. No problem. Be talking to God by yourself. But if you are wise, if Jesus, the Son of God, who himself is God, who had authority to clean and forgive sins, ask the man who was cleansed of his leprosy to go to the priest to do what was required, as, you see, as a sign, a proof to the people, you know, who are we? It is pride. We must drop that pride before we have our sins forgiven. The priest is there in persona Christi. 